think I might ban Arcane from your chat. <laughs> Right, well hello everybody, <laughs> welcome to <laughs> the Season 46 Round of 16 match between Andre and his Nurgle and Magic and his pro -Ls. In the booth with me is the champ himself, Dimmy G. Hello. Hello Jim, how are you today? I'm fantastic, I'm full of beans, Dimmy. <laughs> I, mate, I have beans on toast uh, today. Yeah, I did have beans on toast, I'm not full of beans though, I'm absolutely shattered, but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> New BB player, old BB. Well, I don't know where I come in that category. Me medium blood bowl player, I'd say. Medium. I'm not old. I'm not new. I'm somewhere in between. There you go. <laughs> Bet slicker than the average, aren't you? You, you know, you, you know your stuff. I, I, I've, I, I came third in the UKTC. I'm TST champion, OCC 5A champion, Rebel 4A champion. <laughs> And uh, I've been around the bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been around the bush. There you go. And uh, this is a bit of a, a light pro of team. Like most of the team isn't very good, right? But there's some good players. There's a guarder, which is fine, isn't it? There's a strength up and there's an edge up. So they've got like a couple of good players and a bit of guard support for those two good players. Which is kind of what you want against a Clawpom team because obviously you can't protect everybody. So More importantly, these, he's got good. a wizard. He's got yes. a wizard, so that is a thing. And uh, yeah, yeah, okay. particularly Magic is well known for taking some pretty. He had a really crazy pro off team with a natty. Uh, maybe not last season, the season before. Mm -hmm. um, but Magic exclusively plays pro elves. Uh, well, I say exclu not exclusively, but mainly <laughs> plays pro elves, and uh, he's he's pretty damn good at them, and he's got an exceptional record as well. Mm -hmm. And then everyone knows Andre. Andre's. Uh, is he a ch no? He's a finalist, isn't he? He's not a champion. He's a finalist. He was. He was the. He won the first World Cup on Blood Bowl One, I believe. Yeah. Um, but has not won CCL probably. Yeah. Because no, there was winner, finalist. finalist, and semi-finalist, wasn't there? Yeah. The so the yeah, he's he's part of the Spanish Blitzpit team that won the team Blitzpit. Yes, against all odds. <laughs> well, against you lot, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. They beat well, us hey. twice. They beat us twice. Um, so you know, fair play, fair play to two of them. <laughs> this is almost like a Dakar, but except it's on the halfway line. Yes, no, I, I quite like it. it. I don't you like it because you're trading blitzers, and you don't want to trade blitzers against against Clawpom. <laughs> but the problem with Nurgle is the foul appearance and stuff. So you, you also want to just try and penetrate. I I, I don't hate this. I, I quite like this. Yeah, I, I mean, I quite like penetrating, obviously. Been a while. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they beat PTK. It was the one round they lost. The one round PTK lost. We didn't win. It was very sad. Was it the final or the semi-final? The final. Well, we, we we lost the we lost two rounds because we lost to them in like the winners final and the absolute absolute final. So they they beat us like the same team beat us twice, but. The first time PTK won and PC and I both lost, and then the second time PC, PC won, won and, and I and PTK PC. lost. Yeah. So it was mostly down to me that we lost, but you know what can I say? I mean, it's flop Anyone can win a game of flop ball. Yep. Yeah, I don't feel like they did anything terrible. Yeah, I was really impressed with the Spanish guys. To be fair, I thought they played uh, Blitzpit really well, and they, uh, they didn't lose a the game, did they? They won it like clean. Yeah, yeah, they won it clean, and they like mm. they, they beat like Team Italy in the first round and stuff, and then like they beat Tri's team, I think, and they beat us. Like they, they you know, they, they sailed through. Deserved it, yeah. Deserved. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, can't argue with it. It does look like he's foot gone. Oh, but he's got a KO anyway, so it, it was all right for getting to Daka. He's uh, made himself a KO. Why Daka when you can just outbash the opposition? That's much better. Um, he's got a I mean, decent it's... beast, hasn't he? He's got decent warriors. He's, he's not I that mean... scary. Nurgle team, I don't know. No, it's not, it's not that scary. He's Claw Pommer died recently, I think, before oh, Chalice. Yeah. And he, he's got the, the Juggernaut's Tackle Mighty Blow that could be a Claw Pommer, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a rookie Pestigore, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, but he is Andre at the end of the day, and he's pretty good at bubble. So. We'll yeah. See. Not terrible. Not Andre's great, not pretty terrible. good. Mad, Mad Jake's pretty good as well, to be fair. So this is quite an interesting one. Yeah. 
How many benches has uh, the Pro's got? Have they got a bench two. or no bench? Bench of two. Okay. They'll need them, I'm sure. Yeah. So he's got a... Uh, so his inducements must have been... A mercenary up. lineman, um, a wizard, and a babe. Mm, I think I would have taken a wizard... Uh, a, not a wizard, a... Uh, Eldril? An apo over the... Uh, Oh, that over there. Yeah, because it could protect the... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the good guys. Keep the good guys alive. Oh, Frenzy doing a thing. Yeah. Oh, a big thing. That massive Frenzy thing. But now, him dying, you know, you wouldn't apple that, whereas you've got the uh, you've got the reserve, so it's worked out pretty well for him. Mad already. Jake, going better than Jimmy? Yep. <laughs> That's a nice stupid, isn't it? You can get away from the beast now. Uh, if you yeah. Can, if you can make a big break here, you might not be able to. I'm not going to lie, Jim, the DACA was looking pretty good now. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, in hindsight, it's all become clear. <laughs> <laughs> there is a gaping hole. Yeah, he's going for it, mate. He has to now. But he's not that fast, is he, with most of the players? No, it's a steal. What is he? Is that the catcher movement eight? Yeah, it, it move movement. Yeah, they're all catches the movement. Eight, yeah. An elf team. What? He, ha he handed off to this fella. In what? disturbing presence, wasn't it? No. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was a three plus. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't in disturbing presence. There's not many warriors. That lad hasn't got block Three. either, has he? Was he? There. It was one disturbing presence. That that. Oh no, he's a blitzer. He's a blitzer, blitzer, yeah, yeah, he's a blitzer. So he's got block, that's not so bad. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's like... A 3 plus rackle hit, yeah. Well, he's got down and tackle, but but you know what I mean? Like, if you can block him free... Uh, which you can, quite easily. Yeah. <laughs> then it's free. It is a blockless block! It is, yep. Yeah, that, would, that would cause some people... <laughs> <laughs> to lose their minds. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he's next to the recovery as well. Yeah, Amazing. yeah exactly. Yeah. Not the best turn I've seen from uh, Mad Jake. Could even call it a bit mental. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Whoa. That was a mad turn from Jake. Oh my god, he's got the arm break and the removal. Power Apple. This is looking pretty great for Andre. He does Power Apple, there you go. He's got the uh, Wiz and he might need to use it to score her. Yeah. What do you think of the Power Apple, Dimmy? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah, I guess. I thought it might come in. He's did. in there. He's in the pup. <laughs> he's up to his neck in it. He is. Oh wow, and he's just had another guy cast. By this guy who could have been a claw bomber but isn't, but is just killing everybody anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tackle Mighty Blow is pretty fantastic against elves, isn't it? It's, yes, uh, yeah, to be fair. It's probably better than claw. Well, it's not better than Pom, but it's uh, not bad. But yeah, Mad Jake will be feeling the pressure for sure. Yeah, this is this was his offense, wasn't it? Now the DAC is looking better. <laughs> Whatever the hell this is. <laughs> Has anyone spoken to Gary on recently? Gary <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. on! Gary <laughs> <Carry> on! <laughs> We've got soft play! <laughs> I don't know why he didn't duck it for real. I don't know why, nah, I don't know why anybody wouldn't duck it. I don't know. I, 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 I can see it, but then, like, it was the breakthrough turn. Like, the, the whole play was fine, I, in my personal opinion. I think it was okay. It was just a breakthrough turn, like, where he left that. Uh, Where he left the, the guy who broke through, fire, yeah. he potatoed against Rackle. Mm. Yeah, which was just horrendous, to be honest. Mm. And I know, no, I know from if you look at Magic stats, he's like one of the slowest players since Daddy Boar. and he probably took the full three minutes to make that turn, and it was not a pretty turn at the end of it, sadly. Mm. Unless he like uh, changed his mind halfway through. That's normally normally when you see a bad turn in Chalice is because they've changed their mind halfway to, halfway through the turn. Yeah, that's a good point. 
And like where we see it on the replay, we don't see like the pause in the middle of the turn that yeah. kind of gives it away. Yeah. Well, he, he moved that. He did the blitz before moving the uh, Nurgle uh, beast. Yeah, I'd say, I'd, say, I'd say that's probably like the thing that I noticed from Andre. Like, play, like, don't get me wrong, he's better at Blood Bowl than me, and I'm not saying that I'm better than him. But yeah, the one thing I noticed from Andre is greed. Like, he he will be greedy <laughs> on occasion. Like, yeah. Same as like, like, same as like Rick, and Rick is a fantastic player, and that's no disrespect to Rick at all. It's just like you will notice. A greedier thing in a turn than other players. Yes. Going for the Warner and I, again. And I, I think Andre definitely falls into that category. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. Gets the skull again. <laughs> Gets the power. Yeah, what's he going to do with it though? Nice. I mean, that's pretty amazing. The KO though is the most important part. Yeah. Well, that is a good point, Pixby. Yeah, it won't work against good players. Maybe that's why I didn't do a deck. <laughs> Maybe you heard that it doesn't work against good players. <laughs> no point. Oh. Tentacles. I told Elio that it was the best skill in the game. He didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah. Is is that because it isn't block? You reckon block's better than guard? I mean, it's, that's a hard one. Probably. A full team of guard versus a full team of block who wins. And this is an easy answer for me. Well, it's, it's, go, that's not I'd the question. I'd go the guard though, team. I would go the guard it, team. That's not the question, though, is it? Like, like, they're both super good, obviously. I think they're both better than dodge. If you could only take one or the other. But then that's not that's not defined. Like, you know, it's it's how do you define which is better, you know? And it's like... Yeah. What's Well, the way I would define it, what's better is... Like, how often is it in use, I guess. Mm. And, like, obviously, one guard, I would say, is worse than one block. Like, if you only had one of each skill, or you could only have one, like, either or the other, I'd say block. But mm. if you could have a whole team of 11 with one skill, I'd say guard. So, it's, I don't know, mm. it's hard. Yeah, guard's really, really good. Yeah, and it, it gets stronger the more you multiply it, right? Yeah. Well, he's left magic two dice on the ball now, hasn't he? Uh, by, uh, by yeah. Taking this guy off tents. He wants. Uh, I oh, guess he's he made the dodges though. What a look at dog mm. making those dodges. I also think he wants the Agi guy on tents because he was the recovery after the blitz, and he would be the guy who throws it to the other guy who scores basically. Yeah. So. Yeah. Could have fireballed here, magic. I wouldn't have hated it, right? You get all, you get five players, and the beast is problematic at the moment. You might knock the ball over. You've got edge five. If you get the beast, you've got all the other stuff. I wouldn't have hated the fireball. I, I, I don't hate being nil nil at half time with the wizards for magic. Personally. Yeah, but it was his offense. But it's... yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But I still don't hate being nil nil. Like I wouldn't panic. I think a lot of people panic with wizards in chalice yeah, like. yeah true 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 it's only turning it's only a yeah plus one and the score, nurgle drive is so much scarier against the wizard than without a wizard so like even if you use the wizard and go one nil up and it's half time like andre is expecting to be one nil down at half time and then to have the wizard gone nil nil is a different story because you can use the wizard score on like turn seven or six seven or eight and it probably wins the game you know so it's like good shout, the, good shout, Demi, good shout. Yeah. Mad Jake just needs to get in at 0-0. That's, that's, if I was the pro-off coach, I'd just be concentrating on trying to get in at 0-0 with, without using the wizard, basically. Yeah. If I was the pro-off coach, I'd be concentrating on playing Wood Elves next season. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> Such a noob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I can't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> Neither can I, to be fair. <laughs> is he uphilling the beast here? He's uphilling the stun firm beast and re rolling it. Well, it's turn okay. 8. Okay. That was garbage. Mm. Yeah, to be fair, it was turn 8. So. But is this guy in range? 12, 11, 10, 9. No, but he could get chain, maybe. Yeah, I, I'd hit the rack with that, I think. So he's going to punch him and chain him. Okay, no, he's not. We should have chained him, and then he could have blitzed, and then chained the 
this guy one forward and been in a range. Could have chained this guy in a range. Didn't. I think he had to chain the beast in the range. Yeah. I, I would have panicked by this point, yeah. I would say this is shit and wrong to not chain him in the range. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, scatting the ball was all well and good, but, like, who cares if you scat the ball? You have to get this guy in the range to score, so just get him in the range first. And it's a free it's a free attempt at a score, there's no risk of the counter score, so yeah. yeah. It's a hard one. And with the wizard with the wizard in play, you you're more inclined to want to score as well, like which is like I like the fact that Mad Jake hasn't used the wizard to be honest. Yep. Yeah, no I do, I do, yeah, yeah. I just kinda of forgot that it was his drive when I said it would be a good wizard. It would have been a decent whiz like, but it would have been, it decent, been but If it had been the Nurgle's offence. <laughs> the thing is, is you score, right, you score, and then it's 1-0 at half time, which is the expected result without the Wizards. And then you have the Nurgle team who's got an 8 turn drive not against the Wizards, and the expected result is to concede and be 1-0, right? Like, yes. And then it comes down to a 50-50 coin flip, where, as if you don't use the Wizards, and you use the Wizard on the Nurgle drive, and you score on their drive, depending on how many turns are left, the likelihood is you win it in normal time. Like, if you're at the back end of the half, it looks like you're going to win it in the normal time. And there's no real agi threat. There's no agi four ball carrier. There's no two heads ball carrier and all that from the... And there's still True. 11 elves on the pitch, right? Is that 11? Yeah. 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 That's a, no, no, no. That's 10. A, a 10, 10, 10. Okay. 10, 10, 10. Hello, Runbad. Hello, Runbad. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, Runbadders. <laughs> Bad welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Who's that? It's every streamer, mate. Every time someone raises a stream, they're like, welcome, welcome. I'm like, don't say that. It, it grinds my gears. Because... <laughs> All right, then. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> if only there was an on-screen counter in deep. Yes, yes we Dadle, we're, we're playing yeah. Blood Bowl. It's this... <laughs> we are... <laughs> We are basically social outcasts. It's just like... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure there's any prescriptions that <laughs> fix this. <laughs> oh, dear. Not, yeah, I did tell the kebab man to sod off, to be fair, PC, but I didn't know he was coming. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Fuck off! I'm not Ben. Who are you on about? <laughs> Did you get your kebab dim? What? <laughs> that was so good. Yes, full force goes over the top of the sauces, doesn't he? He likes that. He likes that. The space cadet likes his sauces as well. Yeah. I'm not like unless it's, I just like chili sauce and nothing else, man. Chili yeah. sauce. On a kebab, the garlic sauce is too overpowering. Right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's too strong. Right? It's not my thing. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we agree on garlic sauce and kebabs, Dimmy. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Mich Michelle got one the other day. I was like, holy moly, what's that smell? And it was a uh, garlic sauce. I was like, oh. yeah. Wanga loves garlic sauce and kebabs. Yeah, yeah he, I know. Like, I've got extra. Mates. Yeah, and they like they like chug it out of the pot, and you're like, you savage, <laughs> like you're absolute savage. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Yeah, horrendous. <laughs> Onion and some lettuce. And sleep alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I I love raw onion. That's the thing that makes me stink, and I, I love it. Oh dear. A rowdy. This is quite rowdy. This is pretty rowdy. I think he's got to get rowdy though, right? He's got the wizard. He's got. He's on a clock. He's gonna like get beaten up and lose lose players. So why With not? tackle on the ball next to the mm. mighty blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not get involved? Get some. Uh... You put the reroll in here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. If you if you're you doing do. this play, if you're doing this play, then you do, don't you? Right? So that's what you're trying oh, to do. Know. Put an extra man on the uh, beast first, though. I should have done so that he can't free him and get him in a bad spot. He hasn't. He's not putting on him at all. Nice. Now you can beast there, right? So you've, you've got to you've got to dodge him out and put him on. You, oh God, that's 
That was ter he had to dodge it. He had to, he had to double tag the beast. The beast can just go in there and take these two guys out. Like, it's the first thing he's going to do, look. <laughs> I, hon I honestly think, um, like, when I see Andre in these positions, I think this is where he plays his best blood bowl. And I'm, I'm saying that before we see this turn, right? So this, this could backfire on me yeah. massively. <laughs> so, okay, so we rolled a one. But, like, that was obviously the first play to do, wasn't it? You block that guy, you get the beast in on, on, on the yeah, guard yeah. and the edge five. Like, it was crazy to not double tag the beast there, I thought. Well, it was mad right, but, from Mad Jake. I, I, I genuinely think uh, Andre plays these particular turns pretty well. Mm. Well, let's find out. He's going to have to blitz a sidestepper with Rackle. And gets the power. On the reroll. Instant not removal. Oh, doesn't go back to the middle. Interesting. Wizard. Yeah, but my instinct would have been go back to the middle, but yeah. You want to stay away from the edgy catcher, right? Yeah, but like, it's still going to get you. <laughs> wow, he doesn't do the wizard. Doesn't use the wizard. Interesting. That's fair, it's fair. He's not going to score next turn. Mm. You, you, no one's on the beast, so you can literally just wow, hopefully just dodge those guys off. He wants to keep the beast tagged by one. But... Yeah, someone needs to tag the beast. I was just thinking that, yeah. Is there a loner there somewhere? No. Mm. You can pick the ball up. In stink. You just kind of in the it. stink. One in the pink. Way. <laughs> well done, Timmy. Yeah, so what? I'm here, I'm here all night, lads. <laughs> oh, I don't oh. like that push there. Oh. Is he? Is he? Why is he pushed him there for a reason? I don't know what the reason is. Because okay. I would have pushed him off and forced the blitz. I'm not sure why he's pushing. Him. That's a blitzer, though, isn't it? Why is? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about that push direction. <laughs> well, at least Mad Jake protected his Edge 5 catcher from the tentacles. Yeah, I hope you're alright, mate. Now, now we're uh, back in the middle. I like being in the middle last turn. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he only did that to be away from the Edge, honestly. Yeah. And I don't, I don't disagree with it, to be honest. Yeah, fair enough. Dio always taught me, Dio always taught me, like, you play the sideline to make the sack on, like, wizards and lead plays, like, worse. So if they sack you on the sideline, it's less worse than being sacked in the... It's, it's yes. not as bad as being sacked in the middle, like... Yes, because they can come at you from all directions then, can't they? Whereas if you... Yeah. you like, half of it's protected if, you, if you're against the sideline. Dodges him. Okay, so that push direction was cool. Uh -huh. mm. I guess the blitz was more important somewhere else, so maybe that's a bit of an overlook on my part. Mm -hmm. And he's got plenty of time anyway, so he's not going to push the right flank on that last turn, is he? No. And yeah, and that chances of surfs as well if they go in for the sack and stuff, you know. Or fails. Mm -hmm. Is he going to tag the ball? Yes, he is. Four. GG, oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> GG. We have our winner. G I mean, he's, G. he's still got the wizard as well, which is this is difficult for Andre. Yeah, I mean, he is he is blood step and diving tackle. It's not a joke. And in shrimp four, well, he's got an assist three, but he's no joke, though, is he? This player, that's a hell of a player. Should have made the other block first. Look, we're all double pals. Stupid. <laughs> Jim called it. <laughs> Jim's called it. And he followed to make that not 2D on him. He's got a dodge. He's got a dodge to blitz him free, right? Don't you ever say I just <laughs> got away. I will always pile on. He's wasted powers again. But I guess he KO'd a guy. That's all right. <coughs> he KO'd a guy and he liked it. <laughs> What do you guys reckon? What do you guys? Who do you think is playing this game better? Just out of interest in chat. Anyone who's actually paying attention. <laughs> wow, Andrew just took that board down because it was his last reroll. Yeah. Is that he's too already much? used the reroll? No, he's used the reroll, hasn't he? Oh yeah, he couldn't. Yeah, he'd already used the reroll at the time. Mm. 
Well, he's about to lose, I think, <laughs> Dr. Fields, I, but... I think you are correct, Jim. Oh, he re-rolls that! Yeah, it's a 2 I guess, I ball. guess, then. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. yeah, yeah. I think neither's playing really great. Andre. Oh my god, there's the extra dodge and rolls a 1. Never lucky. Never lucky. Still got the wizard though, so. Ah, oh, that's a good punch, stick Yeah, Mad Jake didn't dacker, so he he loses points for that. <laughs> the one particular turn that sticks out in my mind is where he potatoed through the center and it wasn't safe at all. That's yes. the, that's the, what that's the one turn that I I'm not agreeing with Mad Jake. Yeah. I think Andre's done all right. Like he's been a little bit rowdy in places, which is fine. Like it's Nurgle. Um, yeah. And like he's he struggled to stabilize basically, but again, a, a lot of that is down to the team he's playing against. Yeah. And the fact there is a wizard in play as well, which it makes it more complicated to be fair to. Yes. Fouls the edge five. No. Would you? Think about it. I would think. About I think. It. I, yeah, I think I would think about it there, because uh, if he doesn't pick this up, he's in shit. <laughs> two plus, three plus, two plus. Yeah. And is that strength four? So he can slip the guard in. Oh, Why is he wizard in there? Oh my god. Well, he's got tackle, hasn't he? I hate it. Uh, do I hate it? I, I hate not it. Any turns left, so. Depends uh, how much he thinks that he's going to win here. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe it's, yeah, because he's got tackle. He will look like a strength four out involved. See, I would have run that strength four forward to be the guy to receive it. Oh yeah, he rolled the one on the dodge, so yeah. But, but, quite a bolt in the <laughs> guy was correct. <laughs> Holy shit, this I uh... Is really decent. Yeah... I mean, this is pretty good, isn't it? He was in a good spot, and then the, the whiz made it like much better, Like especially if he powered the uh, warrior and he stuff. Has to, he has to capitalize now, though. Yes. And that beast, that beast can get on the ball. No, it can't. Okay, right. Yeah, I really I mean, it... Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, fantastic dice, Andre. <laughs> I mean, he got lucky. Andre got lucky to power the the bludger straight away. away straight away there, didn't he? So got no rerolls now, has he? No. I'm not sure about that whiz, but no. That's the thing, isn't it? Like you know, do you just like you 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 can't fancy your chances too much in overtime because you're losing players, aren't you? Like so, I can understand it. I can understand it, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, I don't think it's the whiz I would do, but... Oof, I wouldn't have made that dodge. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't have made that dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Reaching. Oh, baby. See, the thing is, is Mad Jake's probably not going to, he's probably going to get the ball and secure it, but I don't think he's going to score. Mm. Well, he hasn't Where's blitzed it? with a blitzer. Okay, now he's got a 3 plus 1D. Alright, 3 plus 2D, and then pick up with the edge. And then where's the ball going? Um, just back. He's got plenty of time. He doesn't have to score. Okay. Or into a cage of some kind. Like, this is almost a cage where he is, isn't it? Mm. He's got blodge. <laughs> Almost a cage. I don't know about you, Jim, but this looks nothing like a cage to me. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a cage, doesn't it? Space Cadet would be pretty happy with this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why has he done that? Oh, he wants to, to score him for it, right? He's still got two turns, though. <laughs> 
I'm not KG. It's uh, KG-esque. <laughs> <laughs> Deconstructed KG. <laughs> oh, he gets the pow. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah Mitchell in five star. KG. <laughs> it's almost a cage in the same way. Cow is almost a stick. Yeah. And squirrel's almost a ball carrier. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Acorn is almost as good a ball carrier as this cage is. Yeah. It's like Nicolas Cage is almost an actor. <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> and now this is looking. Oh! He re oh, the foul re appearance. It. Last re-roll, re -roll the foul fudge. appearance. Fudge me, guys. I don't even understand why. Fudge me. He's going to dodge through. That's why he's going to walk through. No, there you go. Oh, okay. C-A-Y-T-O. <laughs> well, it's failed him once. Will it fail him again? Well, the Rackle's not there this time. The Rackle is there was not a, there. There was, there, was, there was a discussion today on Rick's channel about Rackle. Yeah. I don't hear it as the fourth one. I love Rackle. Honestly, I think Rackle, like, I know it's you're going to hate it, but I, I like Rackle over Clawpom, like, in certain circumstances. It's, uh, like, you can win a game of Chaos without Clawpom. Can you win a game of Chaos without Rackle? I don't know. It's a hard one. I know. I can just hear Chewie going, what the hell? <laughs> I was only semi-joking, to be fair. No, I do like Rackle. I love Rackle. Obviously, Claw Bomb is a <laughs> If I ever I'm pick scared. Rackle over Claw Bomb, I want you guys to pull out my life support. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hot takes. <laughs> my hot take is people with hot takes are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he, he was on Fumble Spleggy, and Fumble has Acorn and all of the new rules. Well, not all of the new rules, most of the new rules. Yeah, in, yeah, fumble. Yeah. There you go. Easy win. Easy win for Magic. Never in doubt. Like, I gotta feel sorry for Andre. I don't think Andre played particularly that badly. I just think he got a little shafted. Yeah, I think he played solid, didn't he? And I can't think of any like <gasps> that was horrendous. I mean, no. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure some other people might have spotted a few things, but. Yeah, there were a few things, but mostly minor, wasn't there? Whereas, yeah. Whereas, but Magic was in a tougher spot, right? So, like, it's easier for him to make. No real damage was there. Though. There was one player that died, but he wasn't like anything special, was he? No, just a rookie. So, uh. interesting. Um, so there you go. Oh yeah, the chain and move eight. He didn't do. Yeah, that's a good point. He didn't do the chain on turn eight to get in range. So that was. I guess that was the. Big mistake by Andrew. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have given him much of a chance. But I think you just have to do it to give yourself a chance, you know. Um, but there you go. Yeah. Uh, commiserations, Andrew. Congratulations, Mad Jake. Thank you very much, Dimmy, for the coming on and doing the cast. Amazon's will never win, Chalice. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.